Welcome back, fellow nerds, to another exciting time-traveling journey with Chrononaut. Today, we're diving deep into the shadows of the past to explore a game that not only revolutionized the stealth action genre but also laid the foundation for one of the most iconic series in gaming history. That's right, we're talking about none other than Metal Gear, the groundbreaking title that stealthily infiltrated the gaming scene back in 1987. Get ready to unravel the origins mechanics, and legacy of this masterpiece that kickstarted a saga filled with espionage, intrigue, and tactical brilliance. So, grab your cardboard boxes, Schrodinger's cat, and codec devices, as we embark on a nostalgic mission to rediscover the magic of Metal Gear. Number 1. Unveiling an astonishing twist, the character you thought was Solid Snake on that iconic cartridge is actually Kyle Reese, played by Michael Bean, from The Terminator, 1984. This mind-bending revelation adds a new layer to the Metal Gear saga, bridging two legendary universes and reshaping our understanding of both. Time to dive into how this unexpected connection alters our perception of these iconic characters. Number 2. The genesis of Solid Snake's character draws inspiration from Snake Plissken, portrayed by Kurt Russell in Escape from New York, 1981 a film that reportedly holds a special place in the heart of Hideo Kojima, the mastermind behind Metal Gear. The echoes of Snake Plissken's gritty persona can be seen in the iconic design and demeanor of Solid Snake, adding a fascinating layer of homage to the genesis of the legendary video game character. Number 3. Crafting the foundation of stealth-based gameplay, Hideo Kojima ingeniously tailored his approach to fit within the constraints of the MSX2 hardware. Faced with the hardware's limitations that caused flickering screens and scrolling difficulties, traditional action games were a challenge. In response, Kojima's creative spark ignited, leading him to conceive a game where evading enemies took precedence over direct confrontation. Drawing inspiration from The Great Escape, 1963, the idea took shape, originally envisioning a game centered around a prisoner of war's escape from captivity tapping into the essence of tactical evasion that would come to define Metal Gear's innovative gameplay. Number 4. Nevertheless, Kojima encountered valuable insights from his colleagues, who pointed out that a game centered solely around evading enemies might lack the necessary engagement. They recommended the inclusion of defensive capabilities for instances when players were inevitably discovered. This counsel prompted a pivotal shift, the initial escape concept gave way to an infiltration-driven narrative. Drawing inspiration from The Guns of Navarone, 1961, Kojima seamlessly integrated the premise of infiltration, thus molding the foundation for Metal Gear's captivating gameplay dynamics. Number 5. The covert moniker for Snake's mission, Operation, Intrude N313, holds an inside joke that threads back to the game's development saga. Following the cancellation of Hideo Kojima's prior project, Lost World, he was tasked with resuscitating a near-forgotten military-themed endeavor named Project N-312. Departing from its initial course, Kojima ingeniously transformed it into the masterpiece that emerged as Metal Gear. An intriguing twist unfolds in-game, where Gray Fox's ill-fated endeavor was dubbed Operation, Intrude N-312, completing the circle of this hidden narrative quirk. Number 6. When Metal Gear was re-released in the West, the localization team orchestrated a myriad of alterations to the game. Notably, Snake's initial covert underwater infiltration of Outer Heaven underwent a transformation, casting him into a jungle via parachute alongside two enigmatic companions. These comrades-in-arms promptly vanished from the narrative without a trace. Number 7. The text in the game contains an enormous number of blunders and mistranslations. However, Hideo Kojima had zero influence on the odd decision to not hire a professional for the in-game translations. Remarkably, the original version of the game was not released in the United States until 2006. By then, many of the poor translations had been corrected. Number 8. There is a non-canon sequel called Snake's Revenge that came out before Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. Revenge only came out in the West but served as a catalyst for Kojima to create many more games. Number 9. Nearly the entire English voice ensemble received pseudonymous credits, a response to the uncertainty surrounding the Screen Actors Guild's endorsement of their contributions. David Hayter, Doug Stone, and Scott Dolph stood as the exceptions, confidently using their actual names. 
However, this dynamic transformed when the cast reconvened to re-record lines for the Nintendo GameCube remake, The Twin Snakes. With the project enjoying overt SAG support, all members embraced their true identities for the credits. Number 10, oddly enough, the Metal Gear Solid 1 remake, Twin Snakes, has never received a Japanese dub. Instead, it was released in Japan with subtitles. This means that Japanese people had the luxury of hearing Rob Paulson, also known as Yakko Warner from the Animaniacs, voice a ninja in the game. In summation, the 80s were more than spandex, puffy shoulder pads, and parachute pants, in fact they also had Metal Gear. It's truly remarkable. From its humble beginnings in 1987 to its evolution into a sprawling franchise that captivated millions, Metal Gear's influence is undeniable. Its innovative stealth mechanics, complex narrative, and unforgettable characters have shaped the way we approach video games today. So, let's continue to celebrate the legacy of Metal Gear and keep the spirit of tactical espionage action alive. Thanks for joining us on this nostalgic time-traveling mission, and remember, it's not about the size of your arsenal, it's about how you use it. Stay sneaky, nerds!